A while ago, Norfolk Southern posted this video on Instagram. It's a digital inspection station for their trains. I thought this would make an easy Arduino project with a side of 3D printing. And then I thought, hey, why don't I take a step further and make a custom PCB for this project? This video is brought to you by JLZ PCB. PCB stands for Printed Circuit Board. This is pretty much what every computer and electronic device has in it now to do all of the wiring and connections. And it's something I've wanted to turn more of my projects into because it means less dangly wire nests. And JLC PCB is the perfect solution for this. They're a company that I have used multiple times. They offer fast, reliable, and affordable PCB manufacturing that ships quickly all over the world. Seriously, from ordering to receiving my custom PCBs is usually right around a week. JLC PCB has an easy to use website. All you have to do is upload your files, customize your order, and you can even look at your PCB as a 3D render to make sure they're good to go. Then you order them and they arrive in their trademark blue box. Right now you can order your custom PCBs from the link in the description. Using that link can get you $80 in new user coupons, so definitely check that out. In addition to all of this, JLC PCB is doing Engineer's Day deals now through October 5th. You can get $125 off coupons, bulk order discounts, and a chance to win a $150 Amazon gift card. Check out the link in the description below. Let's start with the Arduino project itself. This one is really simple. I wanted an infrared sensor to turn on an LED, so I write that when the sensor returns a certain value, the LED is powered on. This sketch will be available for download at my GitHub page. Next, it's time to do the PCB design. I use Fritzing to design the board. This is not free software. I think I paid about nine bucks for it. It's really easy to use. When designing a PCB, the thing you have to remember is not to cross your connections. To do this, PCBs have layers. If a connection needs to go across another trace, which is what the little paths are called, then it will need to go on a different layer. You can pick your layer you are working on here at the bottom. I draw out my connections and use the parts that I need. For the PCB, I use the Arduino template that it has for the PCB templates over there on the right and I put an Arduino Uno on top of it to get the right holes just so it would know where to drill. There are loads of great tutorials on Fritzing. I'll link one of them up here as well as in the description. Once I have everything designed, I export the files that I need. I then compress the files into a zip folder so that they are all together. Now you can do this a couple of different ways. On a Mac, if you select all of the files and right click on them, you'll click compress and that'll make you a zip folder. On a PC, you highlight the files, then right click, select send to, then compress. And that'll give you the zip folder on a PC. Now we can go to JLC PCB and upload our zip file. The zip file tells JLC PCB everything we need to be able to make this. We can then do some customizing. For instance, I wanted the board to be blue instead of the standard green. I double check the project is good in the 3D viewer so that I could see the board. I ordered five of these in case I mess up and about a week later, they arrived. Now it was time to solder the parts on. I solder the header pins to connect the Arduino and then the three components that I need. Now that it works, I need to design a building for all that to fit in. For this, I go to Tinkercad. The building has a place for passing trains and a spot for the Arduino, and I included a cutout for the power supply to make it easy to plug in. And I may redesign it later so that I can hide that a bit better. I slice it and print it out. Now this design will be available to my patrons if they want to print it. If you don't have a printer, JLC actually does have a 3D printing service as well, which I have used. I got this building printed there. Once I have it printed, I screw on the Arduino to the building using some M2.5 screws and slide on the shield. I place it on my test layout and plug it in. Let's see how it works.
It's really cool to see how all of these different skills can come together. Arduino, coding, circuitry, and 3D printing all came together to create this. Check out some of these model railroad businesses. Miniprints creates 3D printed detail parts, figures, and animals that make your model railroad layout come alive. Get 15% off with code DIY15 at miniprints.com. Model Railway Backshop is a great place if you're looking for a quality paint job for your old or new brass model locomotive. If you're looking to get that brass model weathered, you can get that done too. And right now, you can get 10% off any brass model painting and weathering job by using the promo code NMRA10. Check them out at modelrailwaybackshop.com. I want to thank JLC PCB for supporting this video. You can check them out at the link in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, I'm Jimmy from the DIY and Digital. Stay safe, be kind, and happy railroading.